Hi, today on Fundamental Radar, we have Max Healthcare. Uh, so recently, company declared a very good set of numbers, wherein we saw a robust PAD growth of 25% YOY for the uh, second quarter, and this was largely led by strong operational performance. Uh, now, the reason behind the strong operational performance was the uh, healthy uh, ARPOV, which is average revenue per operating bed. So, uh, healthy um, ARPOV as well as the uh, strong occupancy levels of around 77% uh, drove EBITDA per bed even to uh, newer uh, higher levels. Uh, now, overall, in the first half, the ARPOB uh, grew 13% uh, YOY, and this was largely led by increased traction that was seen from the uh, medical tourism, uh, better uh, case mix optimization, uh, further price revisions, along with the improved share of uh, oncology uh, segment. So, uh, we expect this momentum to continue, and uh, we expect roughly about 8% CHR over next two years. Uh, now, going ahead, uh, if we talk about the capex plans, then Max is on track to uh, add uh, Max Dwarka, which is a 300-bed hospital, by the fourth quarter of this fiscal. And it also plans to further add around uh, more than 800 uh, beds uh, by end of FI25. So, um, accordingly, uh, we uh, expect the uh, uh, the sales and uh, pad CHR of 16% and 21% which would be driven by the uh, addition of uh, beds as well as the uh, strong uh, ARPOP growth. So these strategies uh, uh, is expected to drive sustainable growth for the uh, company and uh, would result in consistent earnings growth. Now, uh, Max uh, also plans to uh, evaluate inorganic opportunities and uh, it is uh, expected to soon close some deal in the near term. So if it manages to do that at good valuations, then it could actually aid uh, better return ratios uh, for the company. So overall, we're quite positive uh, on Max Healthcare and we have a target price of 700. Thank you.